Hello, this is Yasu from Propeller Live. Hopefully you're looking at this beautiful drone shot, which is recorded, to be honest, because uh, of many reasons that uh, happened in this week. So I'll explain more of that later, but for now, Ryan, roll the intro. What is up, guys? This is Yasu from Propeller Live. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you so much for tuning in to our fifth live stream because that was that was a fast five weeks for me because I, 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 I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy to be able to do five live streams in a row and um, we'll be continuing. So uh, first of all, uh, because the, oh, let me just explain why we are kind of starting in the in the gear room or the studio today because we usually be kind of creative and we last week we did another night or the drone shot outside or like a bigger production, higher quality. But... Um, because uh, a couple of days ago, you know, we're Oahu's back in stay at home order. So um, initially we thought we couldn't do the live stream itself. And I kind of said that I was going to do it by myself. But apparently live streaming and video production is exempted on page 11, number 29 on the piece of paper that's on the government homepage. So um, we can do the live stream, but we just wanted to kind of downsize and make it simpler. So we usually do it like a five, six man team. Today we're doing it uh, as a three man team and, you know, making it more simple. I'm just going to stay here and put and we're going to to talk to Kamaka from Hawaii Verse, which is super exciting. Um, we're going to come to that right after this. But uh, uh, one thing about uh, last week is that uh, if you haven't been watching our uh, behind the scenes vlogs, our weekly vlogs, make sure you go check them out. But uh, I always say this, but I never show you what it is. So let me kind of show you what the kind of behind the scene vlog is. We have a kind of a trailer to show you. So Ryan, can you please show the trailer? Today is August 20, 25th, Tuesday, and uh, pretty interesting day, yeah. He has approved Oahu's request for a stay-at-home, work-at-home order. We just found out that Oahu is going into lockdown. Okay, check it out, guys. Ryan is over there, and he's getting ready to eat something. I believe I can fly. Ryan eating while he watches YouTube of people eating. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's golden. So I think Ryan's eating again. Let's go see. We're back at it again with another episode of Ryan. So make sure you check out this Friday's live stream and I will see you guys Friday. Okay, so that was pretty much the trailer for the weekly vlogs that we do. They're basically behind the scenes of the live stream and, you know, whatever happens besides that during our week. And uh, most of the vlog is, uh, or half of the vlog is Ryan eats a lot. And uh, he actually does eat a lot. So uh, if you find that funny, because we do. <laughs> Um, go check out our weekly vlog. It's on our YouTube channel. Definitely go check it out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, check out our Instagram channel as well. But uh, after this, I usually talk about last week's winner for the free giveaways that we've been doing. But uh, last week, there wasn't a winner. Awkward silence. But so we decided that we should make this segment a little bit better in a way that we can give back to the local community and uh from next week we're gonna get, we're gonna start a gofundme to kind of help um help the local community give back to the local com community instead of just giving away free video shootings and kind of make this segment um use this segment in a better way so stay tuned for that next week um this week we do not have a free giveaway but please stay tuned to the end of the show and i would like to move on to our next segment where we're talking to kamaka from hawaii verse real intro All right, so for you guys that are tuning in right now, this is Talk Story with Propeller Live. This segment is where we bring guests onto our show and we kind of talk story and kind of hear their experience or their story, what kind of people they are, or if they have something to say, this is the kind of segment that we do. And today we have Kamaka from Hawaii Verse, and he's a super interesting guy. He's waiting on a Zoom call right now, but um, oh, actually he is from Hawaii Verse, which we recently became partners of, and we kind of um, make their spotlight videos. And if you want to know more about Hawaii Verse, stay tuned because we're going to be talking more about that right after this. Um, is Kamaka ready? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, I got to put my headphones on. What's up, Kamaka? 
Hey, how's it? How's it? Thank you so much for tuning into our live stream. Yeah, no problem. Uh, thanks for so, having me. I'm also on the Instagram live. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So for you guys that don't know that are watching on Facebook or YouTube, we're also live streaming on on, on Instagram today. So uh, we got two live streams going on. There you go. Nice. I don't there know. Where should I look? Oh, who are you? All right, so uh, let's kind of jump into this segment, Talk Story with Prowler Live. So I'm personally really, really curious about kind of your background. Um, why don't you kind of like introduce yourself to begin with? Okay, well, how I introduce myself this year is, hello, everybody. My name's Kamaka Diaz, and I'm that crazy guy trying to pay off $50,000 of student loans in one year. So that's like the basic intro. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So lots of questions to begin with. First of all, I kind of want to start out with, um, you were saying that you were fluent or your first tongue is the Hawaiian language. So what yeah. kind of environment did you grow up in and how did you become fluent in a Hawaiian language? Uh, yeah, so Hawaiian is my first language because my dad only speaks to us in Hawaiian since we were babies. Me and my siblings, we only spoke Hawaiian. So we went to a Hawaiian immersion preschool and then elementary school and then middle school and high school. So I was in Hawaiian immersion my entire life, basically, until my senior year where I moved to Oahu and I graduated from Kaiser High School. Oh. But, um, before that, it was just all Hawaiian. It's everything so like Hawaiian. most of your school was in Hawaiian to begin with. So that's why you kind of became fluent yeah, and your and parents. At home, at home right, right. that's all we spoke. So like did that. you... Um, Obviously, out of school, you would speak English, or how is that? Yeah, because, I mean, if you think about it, English is so prevalent everywhere. Right. You know, whether you play sports, because I played a lot of sports, too, and I played video games, so right. I had a lot of the subtitles on the gotcha. bottom. Um, so that's actually what made me really good at reading, I like to believe, is I would read the subtitles. Uh, so I guess, I guess yeah. it's kind of the same for me because I'm bilingual too in Japanese and English. But yeah. I went to an American school. I came home to my family and my house. And we were, everybody was speaking Japanese. So it's kind of like the same thing, I guess. Yeah, it's cool. Way. It's a really awesome setup. Wow, that's super interesting. So um, Ryan suggested that I learn a couple words of Hawaiian. <laughs> how do you say, like, how does my name is Yasu? It's nice to meet you. Okay. Um, so you can just say, so I'll, I'll ask, Ovai ko inoa, which means, what is your name? Mm -hmm. And you can say, O yasu ko u inoa. O yasu ko u inoa? Inoa. Inoa. Yeah. Can you say that again? Try again. Hanaho, hanaho, which means, do it again. O yasu ko u inoa. O yasu ko no inoa. Ko u, ko u inoa. Ko u inoa. Yeah. And um, so there's no like, uh, was it like a... Uh, Lado stop, which is like Okina. Mm -hmm. How you're saying it, it's like Inoa. It's just Inoa. So Inoa. Okamaka, Kou Inoa. Kou Inoa. Kou Inoa. Ko inoa. Mm -hmm. mm, that's hard. That's a it. really hard. I, like... No, I think you got it because the alphabet or like the phonetics, I think is similar to Japanese. Oh. Like I, E, O, U. Is that hi, 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 hi. Right, right, right. Like yeah. the vowels. Mm -hmm. Mm, thank you for the Hawaiian language. <laughs> I want to learn Japanese. That's the next okay. We can trade. We can trade off. Yeah, I'll teach yeah. you Japanese. You'll teach me Hawaiian. <laughs> okay. So kind of moving on, but so I also heard that you were in the Peace Corps for a couple of years, and so mm -hmm. what, what was what's the behind the story of, of uh, about the Peace Corps? Yeah. So uh, when I was in college, I studied abroad in Spain, and that's when I first learned about the Peace Corps because my resident director, he was a Peace Corps volunteer a long time ago. Um, right. So I just kind of heard them talking about it, and I, I got really interested, went online, looked it up, and I was like, wow, this sounds really cool. You know, you get to help others, you get to travel, right. uh, learn new cultures, um, kind of just be away from everything. Um, so it sounded really interesting to me. So I came back to Hawaii, and then I studied abroad in Argentina again, and I knew I wanted to come back um, to university and, you know, make my way into the Peace Corps. Right. So right after I got, so I applied. I wanted to go to South America to become fluent mm -hmm. in Spanish because I minored in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So I, when I was applying, I chose Costa Rica and Peru as my first two choices mm -hmm. uh, just because I was so set on, you know, going to a Spanish-speaking country. Right. I was like, I'm going to go to, you know, Spanish-speaking country, meet my Spanish-speaking wife, bring her back to Hawaii <laughs> and have like awesome bilingual kids. And You had your whole vision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then for a third choice, because you needed three choices as a preference, um, mm -hmm. I was on the M section and I just saw, oh, Madagascar, like the movie. 
Right. And that's why I chose it. Like, there's no other reason. I, I knew nothing about Madagascar. <laughs> I didn't think it was a real option. I just right. chose it because I saw it. So I did that. And then um, a week later, I got an interview for a secondary education position in Madagascar. And then, <laughs> you know, we did the interview. The guy told me about the similarities between mm -hmm. Madagascar and Hawaii. And I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. I went there, loved it, extended for another year. Just got back here um, October of last year. So oh, so you were, oh, that's, this is super recent. Yeah, yeah. I just got back um, less than a year ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. So how was, how was the experience being in the Peace Corps? And how long were you in Madagascar? So I, I left end of June 2016, and I got back October 2019. So mm -hmm. a little over three years. Right. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's the best experience of my life. Very life-changing. It's like you, you don't come back and see the world the same after that. Right. I would say it was the most transformative experience of my life. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I would like, I would love to do that sometime. Like, you, know. you can. I mean, yeah, I can. <laughs> Anybody can join. Uh, even, I mean, most people, I think 90% of people have a college degree, but then there's a few that can join without a college degree. But it's open to all ages. There's no age limit because mm -hmm. I've served with people in their 70s, couples, um, all kinds of. Uh, yeah, different things, <laughs> people. Wow, yeah. cool. So you came back last year, October, and then now you're doing the race to 50K. So yeah. kind of enlighten us what this is. Adventure. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, the race to 50K is my crazy idea to pay off $50,000 of student loans in one year. And I'm doing that by just going out in the community and asking people, what can I do to help you help me? Right. So basically, I just do any jobs as long as it's legal. Right. And People pay me whatever they want. I don't charge anything. So say I would um, do like yard work or clean yeah. ceilings or um, say somebody wants me to dress up as Buzz Lightyear for a kid's birthday party. <laughs> and I have done that. You um, have done that. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just do it. And then once the job's done, they pay me. And then I put it straight towards my student loans. Um, and I document everything online. So every dollar I make, every dollar I spend is all on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of that. Wow. So what about the... Um, the things that you're selling on uh, Instagram, you know, like for the race to 50K. So those are your personal things or are they like... No, so so this whole thing is donation based. So even if people can't give me money, they give right. me recyclables, which oh, I take to right, the right, 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 right. Or they give me something to sell or they give mm -hmm. me gas money or whatever. So it's a really cool thing where that people are, are helping me get to this finish line and I feel so supportive by everybody because like... Um, I had, uh, I had to get a root canal this year and I don't have dental insurance. Right. And I'm just, I don't, I try to be as frugal as possible. So I don't have much money because um, I just live off what, whatever little bit money Peace Corps gave to us when we got back. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, oh man, I don't have $2,000 to pay for this, my dental bills. And people started donating money to me. And same, the ha same thing happened when my tires, I had to change my tires. Right. People gave me money for my tires. Um, um, for a car that was given to me for the race 50k that's crazy it's insane the kindness of others and that's what I wanted to you know show people is that kindness is alive kindness is contagious and um, so it's like heavily relying on the kindness of others wow well that's super yeah. cool so um, you're kind of everybody's donating in any kind of way different so many different ways mm -hmm. and then some of it you resell and then you put it back into the race to 50k some of them yeah. you use for your daily uses and that kind of stuff yeah um, so everything that I get, I put straight towards my student loans, unless right. they say like, Hey, use this for gas or use this for oh, lunch okay. because, because like I usually fast <laughs> and so I, I'm okay with not eating and people, I guess, get worried that I'm not eating or something. <laughs> um, so they, they just, they just, they're worried about me, you know, and it's cool. Cause it's a lot of aunties, uh, right. and like older people that follow me too. Right. So it's like, I have 500 Instagram moms. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's super cool. So and that's kind of what you're doing on your Instagram. You're constantly kind of, you know, I see your stories. You're constantly sharing, you know, what you sold, what you're selling right now, what you're doing today, that kind of stuff. Every so that's what you're Instagram. Yeah. Wow. So let's go back to Hawaii Verse. Um, okay. What is Hawaii Verse, and how are you participating in that? In the the hat of the shirt. Mm -hmm. Um, so Hawaii Verse is just an opportunity that, that came up when I was back in Hilo uh, in March. So I went back from my cousin's wedding. That was before the lockdown, the first lockdown, and right. it got canceled. So I ended up just staying in Hilo for like three months. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but most of my family's there, so it's fine. And then Jared reached out to me, Jared Kushi. He's a uh, part of our Hawaii first team. He told me about this idea. And then I met Taylor, which is he's our media website videography guy back yeah. in Hilo. And I was hooked. I love it because one, one thing that I truly believe in is supporting local. And Hawaiiverse is the perfect platform to support locals, especially right. during these times. So they told me about it. I was hooked and they just needed a host. And I thought, okay, I yeah, might as well, as long as they do all like the behind the scenes thing, right. because I do all of that for the race of 50K. So it's a lot for me. Um, so trying to juggle a bunch of different projects while trying to make money and, you know, my own personal life, it's hard, but. Um, so my role at, at, for Hawaii Verse is the host, kind of just like the face, the hair. Right. Yeah, <laughs> the hair. <laughs> so basically, they tell me what to do. I show up and I do it. And yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. So how does Hawaii Verse work? So uh, Hawaii Verse is like an online directory to, that supports local businesses. So say you want to look for um, a restaurant or somewhere to shop. Or even causes we have different nonprofit organizations that you want to volunteer with. So you just go on to Hawaiiverse. Uh, the website is really well done, and you can just look at all those places. And the cool thing about Hawaiiverse is it's all based off of coupons and deals, like right. 15% off this, free churro with this, with a purchase of a taco or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's all local businesses. So if you want to support local businesses and you want a good deal, just go to Hawaii Verse. You go to Hawaii Verse. And for yeah. the businesses, it's it's free to join Hawaii Verse too, right? Yes, yes. That's the biggest thing. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble from my bosses for not saying that. <laughs> Sorry if you're Good thing I this. mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. So, you're so going to replace me. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. So let me kind of explain how Propeller is uh, partners with Hawaii Verse. So what, we, what Hawaii Verse does is if you go check out their Instagram, they have a bunch of spotlight videos for businesses that um, join Hawaii Verse. And we kind of make the spotlight videos for the businesses on Oahu. And what we also do is um, if you are a business and you join to Hawaii Verse, you also get a free one minute video or a free one minute, what do you call it? A photo? Photo montage. Photo montage. Video for your business so that's kind of what we provide and how we partner with Hawaii Verse and we have exciting announcements coming soon mm-hmm. <laughs> this yeah. coming week I guess yeah so we're really excited and grateful for this partnership to you and your team because I mean we weren't planning to expand to Oahu until next mm-hmm. year but I guess um, things you know happen and it kind of progressed really quickly right. and people in Hilo love it so then I get you and Propeller USA and Jared, our other behind the scenes guy, you guys talked about it and you made it happen. And luckily yeah. I was uh, on Oahu during this time. So it's the perfect time to hit up these local businesses and you know try to help out the community. Yep. So perfect we're we're going to launch in like two weeks. We're yeah, yeah, it's coming. Businesses. Yep. Yeah, so people got to get excited. This is yeah, yeah. Like, the hype is real. Exciting. And it's free. It's free. 100% free. Yeah, that's the that's the most insane part. It's free for businesses yeah. and you can get yeah. a free coupon too. So, I mean, yeah. I, it's still kind of crazy for me. And, <laughs> yeah. Huh? It's, and users. And users, yeah. And users, good. yeah. Free to everybody. It's like the super local version of Yelp and Groupon. Right. Like we said, it's free for users and vendors. Yeah, so, I mean... It's a great way to, or like, I feel like it's the easiest way to support local. You just go to Hawaii Verse and you see yeah. all of these local businesses. And if you're looking for food, I mean, you know, you look for a food place. If you're looking for product, if you're looking for, you know, something to buy, you know, it's the same thing, right? It's the easiest way to get a good deal and buy local and support local. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. And with the spotlight videos, that's like a cool aspect that we have um, about Hawaii Verse is that we like to put a spotlight on these small local businesses and give people a little behind the scenes or share their story with a broader audience. So that's why uh, this partnership is so exciting because (laughs) you guys are awesome. And I think we're going to do some exciting things. Yes, we are. I know we are. <laughs> yeah, I know we are. We for sure we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so definitely check out Hawaii Verse. Definitely check out Kamaka's Instagram. His handle is, I think, under his. It, his, his, 
frame. Come on, come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Come on, We're Ryan. trying it right now. It's my first day. On the <laughs> Sorry, it's oh, Ryan's yeah, first day operating the live stream. Is it on there? It's on there. All right, so go check out his Instagram. Go check out Hawaiiverse and go support his race to 50K. Thank you so much, Kamaka, for joining us. And I will talk to you later. All right, mahalo. Appreciate it. See All right, see you, man. All right, so that was Kamaka from Hawaii Verse, and I just like to say thank you so much, Kamaka, and thank you so much, Instagram. I'm gonna end this Instagram live right here. Everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. All right, let me just sh should I share it? I'm gonna share it. Sure. All right, I'm gonna share it later. Okay, so moving on to our next segment. Um, well, before that, let me just kind of drink some water because I talked about. Okay, so definitely, like I said, definitely go check out Kamaka and support his race to 50k. If you would like to support local, go check out Hawaii Verse. And moving on, but before that, if you would like to be on this show in uh, Talk Story Propeller USA or Propeller Live, um, let us know because we're constantly looking for people to kind of collaborate on this show. Or if you have a topic that you think we should be covering, um, let us know as well because we're also looking for topics to talk about. So. Let us know if you want to be on a show. And moving on to our next segment of Yasu Did You Know? Roll the intro, bro. Yasu Did You Know? All right, so Yasu Did You Know? What's up, James? Hold on. What's up? <laughs> I'm doing the switchboard today. Do the authentic <laughs> Yasu Did You Know. All right. Yasu Did You Know. <laughs> My daughter loves it, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to Misaki-chan. Oh, she's going to be like that. Anyways, anyways. Yasu, did you know? What's up? Well, we all know that the pandemic has definitely brought down a lot of businesses. Yeah. Businesses are struggling. Yeah. But there's one industry that is actually booming at the moment, is which it? is actually the e-commerce business, man. Online shopping. Online shopping. That's for sure. I mean, obviously, like, you shop on online even more than ever, don't you? It's true. Like, I mean, like you know how you were telling me a couple of days ago how, like, I didn't know it, but, like, Whole Foods, right? If you have Amazon Prime, um, if you buy more than $35, you get free same-day delivery, right? Right. I mean, right. that's another reason to shop online. If you're, like, if you have a family like you do, right. if you have, you know, if you're old or elderly. <laughs> <laughs> if you're elderly and you, I mean, if it's hard for you to go out or if you just don't right. feel safe going out and shopping, I mean, that's another way to, you know, make right. your life easier, right? Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. What about you, Ryan? Are you, are you shopping online? Hey, Ryan. Hey, what's up, people out there? <laughs> yeah, no, I do online shopping. Um, More for food, I guess. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I buy a lot of, um, I guess, clothes from like boutique shops. And yeah. Boutique. Boutique. Did he say boutique? Boutique. 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 I thought it was boutique. Oh, whatever. It's actually boutique. <laughs> well, you know, one thing that I don't like about um, online shopping as much as, uh, or, you know, it's super convenient most of the time, but, you know, like I've had a couple experiences where, you know, you think you're buying something and then you wait, because we're in Hawaii, you don't get same day delivery for Amazon. But when you, like, you order something in Amazon, you wait like three, four days for it to come in. <laughs> and then, you, you know, you saw this super nice picture of whatever you wanted, and then you get the mail, and then you open the package, and then it's like, oh, what is, I, I, what? I, I don't order this. <laughs> you know, it's like, what? And then now you have to return it, and then, you know, you have to order it again if you want to. Right. So I guess that's kind of like the downside of ordering True. online. Yeah, we, I, we ordered a, um... oh, sorry. The switchboard is <laughs> tripping me off. Anyways, we ordered uh, a, a printer rec recently, and the print cartridge was not working. So, so it was supposed to have cartridges with the printer? Well, it had, but it just didn't fit. Oh. So we had to, you know, return it back. So it was, you know, it's big and bulky. Yeah, you know, it's it's kind just, of, yeah. you got to go all the way to UPS, and then right. you got to print, print the paper, send it right. back, and then... Right. You know, and with all the pandemic going on, you're like, you know, mm -hmm. being clean, right? Yeah, like I don't want to touch this and box, you want to no? touch the, the handlebar yeah. going in, yeah, it's all... Yeah, it's that's, all a, that's a, I think that's the downside of shopping online, I guess, because, like, sometimes... Oh, well, I would say most of the time you get what you want, right. and the quality is good, as long as you're, like, checking the reviews. Right. But sometimes when you're buying something super random, and you get, like, they catch you off guard, it's like, oh, what's this? Oh, I didn't order this. <laughs> I don't know, but like, what was that story for you, Ryan? What were you saying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> totally... Sorry, sorry. Totally, totally caught me off the guard. The bench? 
Yeah, no, so there was this girl that I guess she ordered a bench on like Amazon or something. And she didn't realize it when she ordered it, but when it came in, it was a bench that was like this tiny. <laughs> it was a bench for squirrels. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, so, I she... mean, sometimes you got to really look into the details and see what the size is of whatever you're ordering. I had that once too. I was ordering a mattress. I thought it was like a, a what do you call the big California size? The queen or the California California king or whatever you call it. Or I wanted a big bed, right? Right. And and the photo was like, you know, it looked like a big mattress, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it, but I didn't really look really close. That was my right. fault. And then I, I got a tiny little twin. You gotta twin look bed. at the dimensions, man. You gotta, yeah. yeah. And so I mean, you know, you, can, you just gotta be careful what you're buying online. But I mean, I see why a lot me more a lot more people use you know right. online shopping for. Well, actually, uh, hold on. Let me, let me cut back to me. Funny thing you should mention, the most, actually the, the most sold thing during this pandemic online was actually baking goods. Like, like you know, like cookie cutters. And, really? Yeah. Because everybody's bored and they want something to do? Yeah, yeah. They, I guess. They, yeah, they had to, yeah, mm. they had to buy that and actually uh, baby clothes. Baby clothes? An another one. It was Why? a big one. Well, because they don't want to go in store and buy it, right? Oh. They want to get they it. They want it like straight from right. the retailer. Right, right. Oh, yeah. that's so that, interesting. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's cool. Want to add anything to that, Ryan? Um... No, I like food, guys. Sorry, guys. Ryan, it's Ryan's first day on the job, and uh, he's not. He's he's doing okay. He's doing good. He's doing right. He's doing like a couple hours ago, day. he wasn't doing very okay, but he when had you guys some look food at the to BTS eat. Footage of me messing up. Right, so many still times. have one more. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he still got donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he still got donuts that he got. He got to finish. Hey, but. so uh, be sure to check out my uh, my YouTube Ryan's ASMR, where you can check out all my food reviews, uh, <laughs> everything back, that I eat. Back, I try to eat back, local when back. I do have a chance. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, moving on, uh, let's uh, have Ryan uh, advertise his channel somewhere else. And if you want to go see Ryan eat, you go check out our behind the scenes vlogs because he the most the, well, well oh, he, actually, he mostly eats at the office. By, so. by, by the way, this, um, so Lian Ching, uh, who's watching. Uh, What's up? She said uh, she's inspiring it to make it a, become a segment. Become what a segment? Like Ryan's food eating to become a segment. In the live stream? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, that, right? That'd be cool if yeah. we can get local restaurants. Yeah. To kind of support our segment of Ryan eats a lot. See, we already have a name. Ryan, Ryan eats, eats a lot. lot. We're gonna make big. And then big... we're gonna have merch saying yeah. Ryan eats a lot. <laughs> like talk story with Ryan eats a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. would be a cool segment. What do you think about that, Ryan? I am not against it. I actually support that. <laughs> so any restaurants that want to come and sponsor... Free food, any anytime, right? <laughs> you'd like to do a food review for your favorite dish. Exactly. Hey, let's do that thing. Let's do that thing. Do that <laughs> okay, thing. They're going to do something. Okay. Let's do that right. thing. Do that thing. Yo. Oh, it's me. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, it's hey. Ryan. Let's say... Oh. Wait, I actually got to put mine on. It's yeah, fine. they think there this is go. a lot more funnier than it actually is. All right, fine. Is, um, Let's cut back to you. I'm, hey, I'm, hey, uh, hey, moving I'm on. Hey, hey, you tell uh, the jokes, okay, Yasu? <laughs> <laughs> moving on with our uh, show today. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much for watching uh, till this point. If you've been watching from the beginning, thank you so much. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a free giveaway this week. But next week, like I said before, we will be starting a GoFundMe to help give back to the local community. So if you want to be a part of that, please do. And like I've been saying many, many times, if you want to be on this show and be a part of Talk Story with Propeller Live, let us know because we need people on this show. So let us know. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week, 6.30 Friday. Thank you. Goodbye.